Under the leadership of Khrushchev, the Soviet Union in the 1950s and 1960s had a special fondness for various missile weapons and developed many peculiar equipment. For example, the 287 Project, which used missiles as its main combat weapon. However, when it comes to uniqueness, the 1231 Project's semi-submersible hydrofoil missile boat will definitely catch people's attention. The 1231 project was the equipment researched in the early 1960s. The origin of this project was Khrushchev himself. It is said that he saw submarines and missile boats parked side by side when visiting a naval base, so he envisioned a missile boat that could submerge underwater. This boat could improve its survival capability by submerging underwater during wartime conditions. It only needed to receive an order to surface and launch missiles. Initially, Khrushchev also requested the inclusion of flight capabilities, but after the designers explained, he gave up on this unrealistic idea. The designers used the 662 Project's semi-submersible ship as the basis for development and incorporated a hydrofoil structure to maintain high-speed travel. The designers proposed several designs, among which the semi-submersible ship design with hydrofoils had a displacement of only over 400 tons. The upper half of the 1231 project is similar to a submarine, with a submarine-style bridge and retractable periscopes, allowing the missile boat to observe the surface conditions even after submerging underwater. The lower half of the submarine is somewhat similar to submarines from World War II, with a rudder installed at the tail and a smaller hydrofoil installed below the bow. The purpose of this hydrofoil is to help the missile boat move forward at high speed on the water surface and increase the missile boat's surfacing speed. The missile boat is powered by an M507 diesel engine, driving a fixed-pitch propeller. After submerging underwater, it uses an electric motor for propulsion. The estimated maximum surface speed is between 38 and 42 knots, and the underwater speed is between 4 and 5 knots. After calculations, all three designs can dive to a depth of 70 meters, demonstrating excellent diving capabilities. The missile boat has independent cabins such as a cockpit and bridge. The crew consists of 12 people, and there are passageways connecting the cabins. The designer's planned living quarters can accommodate six beds, a kitchen, and corresponding food and fresh water storage space. These designs give the missile boat a certain degree of self-sustainability, estimated to be no more than five days. The hydrofoil design has a maximum range of approximately 700 nautical miles, with an underwater range of about 25 nautical miles. According to an article, the main combat weapon expected for the missile boat is 4P-25 cruise missiles. Specific information about this missile was not found, but it is a possible variant of the P-5 submarine-launched cruise missile. The maximum range of the missile is 40 kilometers. Like ordinary missile boats, the missiles are sealed in separate containers and have a certain tilt angle. The launcher is an independent structure attached to the hull, which enhances its ability to withstand water pressure. The onboard search radar can detect targets within 25 to 28 kilometers, and it also has sonar for underwater target detection. The 1231 project is not equipped with any additional combat weapons besides missiles. Its combat strategy relies on concealment, surprise, and speed. Soldiers can carry some light weapons themselves. Although the 1231 project has a unique design, it is not believed to have much improved tactical effectiveness in the analysis. Its combat performance is not significantly better than that of ordinary missile boats. After Khrushchev stepped down in 1964, support for the 1231 project was lost and it was terminated. At that time, it hadn't even had a chance to build a prototype. However, its hydrofoil high-speed navigation technology was recognized and inherited, and later Soviet missile boats continued this design.